Hi everybody, it's Dave the Red Pill Coach and I'm back to teach you guys how to make your life better and how to make your relationships work. And today I've got a pretty short video, but I've got a couple theories to run by you guys. First of all, I want to apologize because I have not had as many videos as I'd like to. You know, my home studio has been overrun by kids and wives, everyone's home. Um... Not an excuse, it's simply uh, the way it is. So uh, that's why I haven't had so many videos. I've certainly had a lot to say. And today I want to talk to you about coaching in the time of COVID. Specifically marriage coaching in the time of COVID. And I want to talk to you about female nature. Female nature, that's right. Because these things are definitely connected uh, in a big way. So... So I, as you know, I have a coaching practice. I help men who are having trouble in their marriage. And before the COVID-19 coronavirus kung flu, I had 20, well, I had over 100 clients that I'd helped. And I had 26 guys that were weekly calls. Okay, that's pretty good living when you think about it. A couple thousand a week. Um... And things were going just swimmingly. I was getting more and more clients. And then COVID-19 hit. Something happened. Because the phone stopped ringing. I'll be honest. The phone stopped ringing. I had a number of clients who I'd been seeing for months and weeks. Basically telling me, it's, it's fine. Things are going great now. And, and I heard that couple dozen times I'm actually down to six weekly clients now from a, a peak of 26 and I, I'm sitting why is that the case people aren't working they're at home more often why are people not calling their friendly neighborhood marriage coach and I got to thinking I wonder if this is related in some way to dread game Specifically, the true nature of women. Because the story I'm getting, and, and I, again, I've had it 15, 20 times now. The story is that marriage sucked, wife didn't want to have sex, wife was rude, cruel, obnoxious, criticized everything I did. Oh, and now it's great. Oh, yeah, we have sex uh, two, three times a week now, and it's just going great. Well, what changed? What changed was the lockdown. And more specifically, and I don't think it was the close quarters, it was, in fact, fear. So Rollo Tomasi taught us about the gift of anxiety and, frankly, the gift of fear in a 2012 essay entitled the gift of anxiety. And I'll read you for a small portion of it. He explains that, quote, women don't want a man to cheat, but they love a man who could cheat. You don't want to appear to be seeking flirtation. You don't want to be overt. You want to be playing along with a flirtation. You want to be covert. I have encouraged or played along with casual flirtations with my wife that leave her with the impression that other women find me desirable. When you've been together long enough and a strong emotional bond is formed, you will be surprised at how many shit tests and how many hypergamous evaluations you can avoid just by her perception of you as a commodity that other women are attracted to. Always remember that your attractiveness to other women is a reflection on your spouse's attractiveness, and it bears on your ability to hold your sexual interest, to hold her sexual interest in the long term. Let me repeat that. It was fear. Because let's tie this into dread game. What is dread game? Dread game is the gift of anxiety. It is letting your woman know that you have options. So she can either behave or you may exercise your options. 
And how does that look in the real world? Well, it looks like uh, a frigid, sex-denying wife who gets off on saying, No, I don't want to have sex today. Suddenly, when there's competition, when there's the man has options, when he has that confidence, um, suddenly she wants to have sex. That's why Dread Game works. It puts fear into women. It makes them want to have sex. And when guys are having sex regularly, they don't call their marriage therapist or their marriage coach. So that's Dread Game. What about Coronavirus Game? Well, the authorities have done everything possible to scare the hell out of the entire population. And I mean scare the living hell out of people. These people won't... I, I, I got clients who, who won't leave the house, whose wife has not left the house since the coronavirus epidemic hit. But suddenly, these women who are scared are satisfying their husbands. Suddenly, there's no more games. There's just shut up and fuck. And I think this reveals very importantly, the nature of women. They operate based on emotion. They operate based on fear. Specifically, fear is tied into their sexual response. So, for example, why do you take a girl to a scary movie? Well, because she gets scared and she cuddles up to you. And as it turns out, when a woman gets scared... She juices up. Yeah, that's right. I said it. Fear is tied into the vaginal lubrication response. And if nothing else, the coronavirus pandemic has created fear. So when women are afraid, they shut up and fuck their husband. When women are arrogant and not afraid and not uncomfortable in any way, they create that discomfort which they seek by playing sexual games. They create the drama by denying sex. When they have enough drama in their life to create genuine anxiety, they don't have to play sexual games. They instead use sex to increase bonding, to increase their power, to enhance their relationship. So we see that coronavirus scary movies, and dread game are all tied together because they all access the same thing about women. Whether it's a killer virus, Jason Varhus, uh from Halloween, or Friday the 13th, rather, uh, or when you create dread game, the idea that you may just leave her for somebody better. All of this accesses the same mechanism in mechanism in women, and all of it activates the tingles. All of it gets her vagina lubricated. Whether it's fear of dying from a virus, fear of losing her husband to somebody better, or just a scary movie, it's all the same. When women are scared, they fuck. When women are not scared, they create drama and play sexual denial games. We would like it to not be the case, but it appears to be. So is putting your woman in fear the goal? Well, it may very well be. If the coronavirus epidemic has taught me nothing else, it's confirmed the efficacy of dread game and it's confirmed the almost universal reaction to women. And it's not totally universal. Uh, I do have <laughs> the six clients that I still have. Uh, their wife's still not fucking them inside of the, by the fear. But the other vast majority, their wives are fucking them. And suddenly their marriage appears to be just fine. Now, the lockdown's not going to last forever in spite of what some people would like. Um, and I'm very curious how it's going to pan out. I don't know if what I'm telling you is true in this case. It's a theory. But I think it's a solid theory. And I'd like you to think about it and let me know. Tell me your experiences and 
comment in the comment section about whether or not you have observed this to be the case. Is the gift of anxiety absolutely essential? Are women only happy and sexually functional when they are put in fear? Inquiring minds would like to know.